It wasn't that long ago that 60 Minutes came out with a fascinating story, actually from a landfill in Paraguay. It just so happens that people there are digging through the trash, eking out a living 24 hours a day, every day of the year. And this was noticed by a man who lived nearby, Fabio Chavez. He's also a music, musician and music teacher, and he decided he would do something to get those children, because the children are there too, to something away from that trash heap. And so he decided he would teach them music. But where would he get the instruments? He actually got them from the landfill itself, using scraps of wood and paper and wire and metal, first to make makeshift instruments. And he found the young children so willing and desired to learn. And before long, they were making a beautiful sound and, and they could present to their own parents music that, that could actually take them out of the world they were so trapped in. Now that group of musicians, they travel the world. They've seen things that have opened their eyes to a future they could have never imagined. And the beautiful thing is, Fabio said this. He said, the world brings us garbage and we give them music. When I heard that story, I thought, that's really the gospel in display. How God takes all the brokenness we bring to him, the worst of things in our lives, and he transforms them into something of beauty. And when you hear those children and they're playing their instruments, you realize what God had in mind all along, bringing beauty into our world out of the brokenness that all of us know so well. And that's really the message of this season. It's why Jesus came into our world to begin with, to show us that God hasn't forgotten us and, and how desperate our lives may be. He has come on our behalf. And now he's come to us and he's transforming what we have into to a beautiful sound in our world. I hope as you have the opportunity to celebrate this season, you will rejoice that the sound of your voice will be heard among God's people. And, and that's why we enjoy the worship of Christmas so much. It's the picture of what Jesus came to do and, and the work that he's done in every one of us to create this joy.